Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about the type component for Angular Material. The type component allows to manage multiple views by displaying one view at a time. There are two sections. The header section, where all the tab headers are housed, and the content section, where the content for each tab will display. Before we begin, make sure to add Angular Material to your project. If you're using Visual Studio Code, Open the terminal by pressing the Ctrl and Tilde keys and then execute the ng add command. Select a theme, set up a typography, and enable Angular animations. To begin, add the Material Tabs module to your project. Go to the App Module file. Add the import statement and add it to the app. To add the tab component, use the math tab group element. To add a tab, add the math tab element inside the tab group. For multiple tabs, add multiple math tab elements inside the tab group. Label it by applying the label attribute to the tab and setting it. To add content for each tab, place all your content in between the math tab tags. If you want your tabs to be more than just text, remove the label attribute from the tab element, put in a pair of ng template tags, and then apply the math tab label directive to the template element. Inside the template element, define your custom label. If you're unsure on how to use the math icon element to create the icon, watch the video on the Angular Material button component. I'll post a link to that in the video description. It'll show you how to add and use Angular Material icons. To disable a tab, apply the disable attribute and set it to true if you want it to be inactive, or false if you want it to be active. We can also place the tab headers at the bottom of the content, apply the header position attribute to the math tab group, and set it to below. If you notice, our tab labels are only taking the space it needs to display the contents inside the tab area. We can change this behavior and make the tabs take equal width within the tab header's width. To do this, apply the mat stretch tab attribute to the tab group element. Lastly, we can change the theme of the header. To change the background color, apply the background color attribute and set it to either primary, accent, or warm. To change the line under the active tab, apply the color attribute and set it to primary, accent, or worn as well. 
These colors are determined by the theme you have chosen when you add angular material to your project. This is all for the tabs component. If you find this video helpful, please give this video a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment in the comment section. See you in the next video.